Alrighty, here's the driveway again. It is now 12.04, so just say noon. And you can see that uh, the water has come down off the road. It's back where it's supposed to be. See, it drops pretty quick here. Once the rain stops, because there's nothing else feeding into it, it drops pretty fast here. But like I said, it's all got to go somewhere. Let's go look at the tile down here. It's down enough to get out. There's that, uh, I guess that's what I thought was a limb earlier. Yeah. Now we can get this stuff out of here. Help a little bit, help it drop a little quicker. Now these used to be overflow for the big tile, which is right here next to it. It's about like a four-ish foot tile. So this water is about four or five feet deep right now. Here's the overflow, it's uncovered it. And we need to get this stuff out of the road because that's big enough you can bottom your car out on it. That gets that out of the road a little better anyway, where it's more passable. There's the other end of the main tile, what I was talking about. And there's the other end of that overflow right there. Earlier this morning, the other video, this water was up here, probably a good foot or two on top of the tile here. So it's dropped that much in just an hour or two. Here's another limb I see. Oh man. Oh, that's a big one. There it goes. Let's see if it comes out over here. Tried to jerk it out of my hand when I grabbed it. There it goes. Yeah, you can start seeing it, the edge of it right there. It's dropping. Need to see if I can't mix some really thick concrete and lay on top of this, kind of patch that hole so it don't fill that in. Because, you know, that's that much water that the big tile can't carry, and it's helping a little bit. That's that much water that would be running over our road if this was to get plugged up. Let's see how my tire held up. One of them was a little cockeyed last time. Yep, it's still here. One right here. The rug's new. I didn't put that there. He took somebody's rug. Now there's our house. Now right here is where it likes to enter the roadway. You can see the road slopes up here. And right here is the low spot where it likes to enter the road here and then run down that way. And we've got this little tile here. See, the road has been removed. It's supposed to come out to about here-ish. You can see where the bank is. This is passable. Paul or somebody's already done a little bit of work here. Oh, they've, it's filled my, it's filled my hole in. The other end of this is right here. See what happens is once the water comes above the outlet end of this tile, the water from here can no longer freely pass and get out because there's back pressure on this end. And so what ends up happening is the sediment that was just coming out 
starts to pile up, plugs this end off, and the road becomes the new creek. So if I can dig down enough to uncover this end, now that this end is clear, it should pretty well clean itself out once I start getting it open. It's still above it a little bit, but it has started running. So hopefully, here in a minute, it'll quit going across the road. That little rule hole. She's going. It's doing the best it can. It's draining. As soon as the creek drops, that'll help. Oh, it's dropping. You can see the tiles exposed a little more. And there's a little less going through the overflow. But that's just part of living in the head of a holler. When you're at the end of the line with just you and a couple family members, you're at the bottom of the priority list, whether it's a power outage or flood damage or whatever. They've got other people that are in worse shape than we are that they've got to go take care of. So we've got the road passable. It's draining pretty quick. Me and mine are doing just fine, but there are people downstream of us that have lost everything. They've had their whole lives reset because of flood damage. Somebody posted a picture of the high school uh, in McGoffin County the other day, and just looking at the picture and knowing how that land's laid out, it looked like the water was a good 20 feet deep in their parking lot because that school's up on top of a hill. And if the water here got to be 20 feet deep, we'd be washed off. So we're pretty lucky to be where we are, but there's a lot of people downstream of us that ain't that lucky. So if you're in a position to help those that are more in need than I am, please donate to a food bank. Give people, I saw something where people need shoes, clothes. I mean, when your whole house goes floating down the river, you ain't got a whole lot left. So if you're in a position to help people less fortunate, please do whatever you can to help those. Anyway, this is Marcus out. I just wanted to make a couple videos today about the flooding going on here because somebody did comment and ask how we were doing, and I've had a couple people message me on Facebook and such, so I thought I would post a video or two showing you guys how we're doing. We're doing all right. Road's a little cut up. We'll need some work, but it's fine. We can get in and out. It didn't get anywhere near our house, so y'all take care. Have a good one.